there's no shortcut to growing good grapes. It's a matter of knowing your land. My family have been growing grapes now for 100 years. We made homemade wines, but I wanted to take it that one little step more into the actual wine making, and, and I just love wines. People can get caught up in medals and awards and scores for their wines, but I hope that they'll taste a bottle of wine and say, you know, it's interesting, I enjoy it, because that's what it's all about. And that's a great feedback, uh, I love that. Hi, I'm Chris Loxton, I'm the owner and winemaker of here at Loxton Cellars. Ports are interesting, you know, dessert wines are philosophically very interesting to make because they're sweet and so it's not just enough to have sugar and alcohol, you have to have balance and it has to have richness and so I want to use really good grapes for port. Uh, when I made my first port in 2002 under my label, I kept a barrel and I've been uh, topping it up with the current vintage and uh, just letting it sit there for 10 years. You know, there's something about putting aside a wine and saying in 10 years time I'm going to bottle this. I mean, that's a tremendous commitment to, uh, of confidence really. I don't taste it very often, maybe only every 18 months or so. Sometimes it's been two years before I actually sample it out of the barrel. But each time I've been really interested to see how the wine is changing and how it's progressing and um, it's just a really fun project. And it doesn't hurt that I think the wine is really quite good. I've had a number of my interns top that wine. I've topped it. You know, there's a lot that goes on. There's a lot of things that have happened. Um, that's as important maybe as the wine itself.